Hello, Annette. Right then, I've done a lot of videos opening up about about things that have became apparent during 2020 and going into 2021. And one thing I didn't really mention is what a daily kind of thing that's that's kind of just kept me as sane as possible to be sane. Anyone who's watched this channel for a while is probably thinking, yeah, you insanely. But hear me out. I just wanted to talk about everything that as a whole has really kept me grounded and got me through like the bad times. So here it goes. Definitely, definitely, definitely friends and family. Even though we can't see people in person, there's so many ways to talk these days. Like I think everyone in the world is using Zoom and whatever else they're using now. And you've got all the messaging and just, just anything. Just if you're not feeling great, you can just send a message to some friends and I'm sure one of them is gonna have some time and you can just talk and amazingly you will feel better. It's not just a case of thinking, well, everyone's struggling. Like, there's no point telling people. Tell someone, talk to someone. There's charities and services. I guess I better put some links down below because I've just said that now. But there are there are other things if you don't feel comfortable talking to friends. So my friends, they've been great. And if I ever did need anything, I can talk to them. But like, I'm talking about more of a balance. So every day, I'll definitely speak to some of my friends, some of my close friends. and that's been throughout, it's been constant. It's not been like we didn't speak and then we just started speaking more. It's just been constant, checking on each other and just having a nice chat. So friends, exercise, just any type of exercise. I think I would have been demented if I just kind of sat in one spot and done nothing. And it's crazy, I never ever thought I would have a day that would come where I would say I was lucky to be at work, but I've been lucky because I've been working. So my free time, has been more precious because it's still, that is my free time. So work has obviously kept me in a routine and then in and around work is definitely exercise. So if you can't do much, just go for a walk, at least just stand up once an hour. If anyone's got a little Apple watch, that definitely tells you to stand up once an hour. But yeah, just try and do something. There's so many videos on YouTube for free now with exercises on, like some of the ones that are my favorite are Bodyweight Warrior, definitely. Um, oh, why can't I think of his name? Sam, I'll put his link down below. <laughs> can't think of his surname. But yeah, there's quite a few fitness channels that I watch and, um, and they're good just to mix it up because one thing I did notice when it first started is I wasn't doing yoga classes anymore and I was just kind of doing my own routines and my own flows and I ended up doing the same flow every day for about six weeks. And even though I was doing other things as well, I was, I was cycling and walking and I was doing body weight exercises and weights and stuff. I just thought, right, I want to mix this up a little bit. So that's when I started looking at other people's routines and looking at what they do. And so that has definitely, I know some people just do it a couple of times a week, but I prefer to do a little bit every day and I just don't do, don't do it to the point where I'm going to be too sore to do it the next day. And that's just been a little bit of a daily routine that I've really enjoyed. And it's, even if I don't feel like doing it, because I was in routine and I knew I would feel better afterwards and I would knew I can do it. Because what happens if you stop doing something or if you just start doing it, you get that mindset of, oh, I'll just, I'll leave it the day, I'll do it tomorrow. Or, or I can't, I haven't got the energy, I can't do it. But you'll surprise yourself. You don't have to do, like I just said, the same amount. If you're starting to do push-ups, you don't have to do 50 push-ups. There's Google it, there's all the little 30 day challenges where it'll just slightly increase every day until before you know it, you've gained strength, you've gained the confidence, the mindset, and you know, actually, I can do this. Just obviously, I mean, to me, this is kind of common sense, but if you're just getting into it, maybe you don't know, so I'll tell you. Just don't have a big meal and then do exercise. If your body's processing food, all the blood's going to your stomach or wherever it is, and if you then just try and do exercise, you're gonna make yourself feel sick. You might be sick, but then the blood needs to go up the muscles as well, because that's what happens, so just, Get your day, plan it out. If you're a breakfast person, have your breakfast first, let it settle. If you're working full time like me, work around that and plan your meals around that. Like I don't like eating late, so that's one thing. I know some people have to for work, but I've never been a fan of the whole intermittent fasting where it's a big 16 hour window. So I always wanna have breakfast 
I know some people say that it's a big urban myth, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but I think it is important because the main thing it does is it gets your metabolism going. You wake up, I don't know about anyone else, but I think I can't remember ever waking up full of energy since I was a little kid. Like literally I wake up and I do not feel good about life and I do not feel good about anything. And having breakfast, having that first coffee of the day, having a green tea, it just gets my body going and then before I know it, the day has begun. <laughs> and if I'm not at work, I'll let that settle, watch a couple of TV shows, play a few video games, read a little bit, and then, then do the exercise. And if you've got anyone that you can do the exercise with, I would definitely say do exercise with someone because it is so much easier when you've got someone else to do exercise with. If anyone's on my Instagram, you'll see my friend Nikki. She's in, she's in a video from a while ago, back when we could do stuff, went to Newcastle match. But she makes me do so much more than I would normally do. And then the odd days, well, I'll, I'll make her do more stuff. But what tends to happen is it'll just be like, oh, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done for the day. Whereas I'm the person who would just be like, okay then I guess I could do some more even though I really don't want to but trust me you will feel better you will have more energy it's so weird like you've got this mindset of where I haven't got the energy I'm just gonna sit here and feel miserable about myself you feel like you've got more energy when you do the exercise like the only time that changes is if you're ill like obviously it's winter and there's still colds and stuff going about so I've been under the weather and had I was on antibiotics for my sinuses and like, apart from when I had to rest because I knew my body's fighting this infection, I shouldn't push it too far, but I still still went for walks. You've got to just get that balance right, and you've got to just be aware of what else is going on in your life. Um, if you know you're really stressed with work at the moment, or if the, the whole global situation's got you stressed, then maybe just go for a walk. And trust me, like, a little 30-minute walk will make you feel better. And it's just... It just takes your mind off it and it's stimulation for your eyes like when you're walking don't just look at the ground definitely don't go for a walk and just look at your phone like try and put your phone away i listen to a podcast or i listen to music obviously i'm a big taylor swift fan and she just did nothing but drop quality music all of 2020 so there was always something and if i did need to speak to someone i'm not a fan of actually holding my phone to my face i always just i have my airpods in and and just speak to people that way and then at least I can still my eyes and are free and I can look about and take everything in so yeah that is friends exercise I've already done another video about trying to relax and watch movies and stuff because that's something that I wasn't big on but I am trying to just I like a balance I don't like doing just one thing like I did actually manage to finish Spider-Man for the PS5 when I got that because I'd never played it properly on the PS4 so I managed to smash through Spider-Man and that was a big achievement for me because normally I remember when as a kid you would get one video game and that would be your new game and you would finish that game and it would be the only game you would play and it would be amazing but now you've got like PlayStation Plus and all this and you're getting these free games every month or there's little indie games that you've bought and before you know it you've got like a backlog of video games and you just think when am I ever going to get through this? Because I'm one of the people that's not been... Like I say, I am saying this and I do realise I'm lucky. Which sounds so weird. I am lucky that I have been at work throughout this whole horrible time. But it does mean that the, the people who've been lucky enough to be furloughed and be getting paid still, they then did really have all this time that they would never have normally had where you could do things. So I've, I've not experienced that extra time. It's always just been a balance around my normal life. So yeah, what I have done more as well in 2020 and 2021, it's carried on, is people who wouldn't have normally video called me, like at one point it was just Lauren. Other people I'm now FaceTiming, Zoom and Skype and all that sort of stuff. Not Skype actually, who even uses Skype, let's be honest. It's nice to see people's faces, like if you can't see them for a walk, if you've only seen them once every every few weeks or every few months or something like, like I have with my friends. It's nice to see the face and when I've been speaking to my mom I always make sure I video call because I just think like it's... If you can see someone's face and you can, you know that you, it's more of a connection I know it's not the same as actually looking in someone's eyes directly because trust us, there's nothing like being able to like see someone's actual face properly when you're talking to them. It's that nice connection, like it's something, I don't know, it's just a human thing, isn't it? It's a nice interaction. So I think I've covered everything apart from, I was about to say, 
I've never done proper intermittent fasting yet. Go back to that point, Lee, you went off on a weird tangent. I've never done proper intermittent fasting, but what I don't like is eating dead late. So I, I prefer, if I've got to do exercise after work because of the way shifts are working, then I will have to do the exercise before I eat because like I said earlier, you can't exercise straight after you've ate. It's just not, it's counterproductive. It's not going to help you in the long run. So quick exercise, quick food. Um, I like to try and evade by seven o'clock at night if I can. And then it means my body's got time to process the food before bed. I hate having a full stomach before bed. So I like to have, if I can, eat by six o'clock and then I'll not have breakfast until half seven, eight o'clock the next day, depending on what time work is. Obviously a bit later if it's a day off. And that, it's not a whole 16 hours, but it's still better than nothing. And it still gives your body a break. And I do tend to have more structured meals i know a lot of people say eat little and regular but really it's about whatever works for you so if you're eating relatively good proportion meals then i kind of have breakfast lunch tea and i might have a snack depending if my friends force us to have a snack at work because they love a good snack but who doesn't love a good snack snacks snacks if that's what gets you through this have all the snacks just make sure you do some exercise and burn them off so i think i've covered everything one of my lights has just gone out there because I unplugged it to plug the ring light in, so I better, I better wrap this up quick. And then whatever you're into, whatever your hobbies are, I like reading and I like watching TV, who doesn't? And I like playing video games and I've been getting into playing piano, but I can only do that when I've got access to a piano. So whatever you're into, just give yourself time to do that and give yourself time to do the Blim and relax and stuff because you need to, you deserve it. It's all right. Don't beat yourself up over it. So that is what's been getting me through it. If there's any questions about specific exercise, anything like that, I, there's enough videos on YouTube, but if anyone really wants to know the type of stuff I've been doing, I can talk about it more. But anyway, just wanted to say, I hope everyone's looking after themselves, looking after each other, being kind to each other. And smash a like and subscribe. That's being kind. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.